Welcome to the Mind Solution Podcast with Sarah Maud. The Mind Solution Podcast is for leaders like you who are passionate about well-being in the workplace because you understand that a strong, resilient and happy workforce is the key to your organisation's success. The Mind Solution Podcast is here to help you So join us every week where we'll share with you powerful insights, strategies and know-how to ensure that your people and your organisation are truly thriving from the inside out. Hi there, it's Sarah here from the Mind Solution International. And I wanted to share with you a wonderfully insightful conversation that I've just had with fellow coach, Tony Piper. Now, Tony and I both work with organizations and we were just chewing the fat as you usually do on a Tuesday afternoon. And we were talking about training and what made a training course more successful in relation to who'd been involved in the decision-making process. And as I was reflecting on one of the key areas that we provide training on, which is management mental health training, I thought about it. And I thought about all the organizations that we have worked with and who we'd spoken to as part of the decision-making process. And what I came to the huge realisation about, which might seem quite an obvious one, but today for me it was a real insight, was that when the chief exec or the managing director has not only been involved in the decision-making process, but has also been very much present at the training, what a difference that that's made not only to the impact of the training, but to to everything that that training stands for and it represents. So to give you an example, one of the organisations that we worked with last year were a brand called Sophology. Now, for those of you outside the UK, and I know that we've got a lot of listeners in the US, Sophology is a beautiful, beautiful sofa company. And at the time, the chief exec was a woman called Sally Hopkins. Now, Sally was very much part of the decision-making process when it came to rolling out the management mental health training to about 200 of the managers. And not only that, Sally was absolutely present at every single module that we delivered the training for. And when I thought about it today in my conversation with Tony, I thought about some of the things that were really letting me know that the training was successful. That by having Sally there, that she was really walking the talk. So the sense that I was given by Sally's presence was that actually this training, it mattered. It mattered to its people, it mattered to the brand, it mattered to the company and its organisational culture. I could see that the training was being taken seriously, that this wasn't just another tick box exercise. It really felt that having Sally involved, it sent out the right message. You know, there was a leader who had enough on her plate because we were still kind of very much in lockdown managing a very large national retail brand but she still took the time to be present with the rest of the leadership team so she did absolutely walk the talk and it gave the training it gave it credibility in its own right it gave it kudos And every single member of the management and leadership team, they attended every module. Now, in the case of Sophology, we took the training and we split that training over three modules. But every single manager went through the training. So there was no training that was skipped. 
and every manager and leader that were there, even if they were on the road, you know, even if they were traveling to different destinations, they would pulled over. They would pulled over to be present, even if it meant dialing in from their phone. And every single one of them, they had their cameras on. They were engaged. They were asking questions. You could tell that the managers had a thirst for the knowledge. And our associate trainer, Nikki and I, we absolutely loved working with Sophology because we love working with organizations that you can absolutely tell that they're doing this from the right place, the right intention. They were like little sponges absorbing it. They were scribbling away, taking notes. They were just some of the most engaged managers that we'd ever had, which meant for us it was it was quite a big task 200 managers but it was a joy it was an absolute joy now sophology had had such phenomenal feedback that they decided to invest in the training every six months so that they could capture every single manager and what Sally was very keen on and made sure happened that every single manager did go through that training so that all the managers spoke the same language, that internally they had that reference point. And even Sally herself said that every single store was buzzing from this training. And that, for me as the founder of the company, I couldn't get any better feedback. To know that our training has landed in such a way that people were literally buzzing about it was just, oh, it made my heart absolutely sing. And then I reflected on the training that we've run for organisations where the chief exec hasn't been involved in the decision making process. Now, I respect that some organisations, perhaps they're so big that they don't need to be involved in the decision making process. But where chief execs haven't attended the training themselves, I reflected on those training courses. And actually, when I thought about it, there was a significantly marked difference. So again, where we deliver training online, whether we deliver it over three modules, whether we deliver it over five or six modules, depending on the depth that we're going into, where the training hadn't had the chief exec present, I wouldn't say that 100% of the managers were engaged. I would say that a lot still were, but it wasn't the same kind of vibe as when chief execs have been there. In some cases, we had managers, despite numerous requests, managers didn't always have their camera on. Some of them skipped modules, they didn't read book onto other modules. So not every single leader went through every single training course. Now, I'm not saying that the feedback that we didn't get hasn't been fantastic from those organizations, but it didn't have the same kudos to it. You could tell there was a, a sense, maybe it's more of an intuitive sense, that it was like, yeah, well, this is something that we should probably do, but yeah, we're not going to prioritise it. We had managers that were maybe dropping out of the training a little bit early because they had to go to different training courses. We never got that with Sophology. And again, thinking about the training that we did with other organisations, I can certainly think of Nelly Pack, a big global healthcare organisation, where we had Pat, the chief exec, who again, really busy organisation, under a lot of pressure, and yet he still absolutely showed up and was incredibly present in all of his training courses. And again, the feedback, it came through. You know, this, this was something that the company was investing in because it mattered. Not because they thought that they should do it, not because it was a tick box compliance thing. It really mattered. So 
I would assert to you that when you are looking at delivering this kind of training, training that you not only want to get right, but you want it to have the right impact. You want your managers to be blown away, to be inspired. You want your organization buzzing from this training. Then think about who does need to be involved. And I would absolutely assert that for any kind of leadership training, management mental health training, then it is absolutely crucial that we get our chief execs and our managing directors or our presidents involved in that decision-making process. That we really do involve them in understanding what is it that the training needs to look like. What's the vision? What's gonna let them know as leaders of the organization that the training has been successful? What are they gonna see? What are they gonna hear? What are they gonna experience that's going to let them know that that training's had the impact that they want it to have? And the more that we get our senior leaders involved, the more that the return on investment is going to be absolutely greater. So there's just a short one for me and a big shout out and a thank you to Tony for such a wonderfully insightful conversation and we'll join you again very soon. Bye bye. For now.